Hi everybody, good evening, or morning, or afternoon, wherever you are. It's evening here, quite late in evening, as a matter of fact, everybody's in bed, and my one son works at night, so he's already at work tonight. But I wanted to pop in and wish you once again a very happy new year. I hope you had a wonderful holiday season. I know we did. Um, it's so nice to have the holiday season, to get together with family, to be everywhere with our friends and our loved ones. It's also good <laughs> to get the house back in order and not to have any holidays <laughs> and just kind of relax and take down the tree and take down all the decorations and just relax and spend time with the family. Uh, if you like my videos, I was wondering if you would push the like button. I was wondering if you would push the subscribe button. And if you would like to see my other videos, if you push the uh, notification button, you will also receive and know when I have other videos out. Well, I have an update on my custom. And I have a very small haul, but just some really cute things that I wanted to share with you. But before that, I'm joined here with my beautiful Ariana kit by Riva Schick. Her name is Libby. It's actually Elizabeth Grace. We call her Libby. You have this for me? There you go. And there she is. She has got her favorite blanket with her. She has the Magic Bunny book, which is actually a book about the stuffy she's holding. That's Jelly Cat Rabbit. And she's waiting for me to be finished so I can read her a story. She has her pajamas on. And on her pajamas, she has moose. And she has, um, oh, polar bears and little hearts. And they're in pink and white with a pink trim. Let's see, is there any other animals on here? No, just moose and polar bear. And the polar bear has on a pink hat and a pink scarf. And the moose is got periwinkle sweater on. So then she has her beautiful bow on the top here which is one of those nylon bowls. I really like them because they do not pull the baby's hair, but she has her periwinkle bow on. So Libby's here. Well, I talked to my artist yesterday, or the day before, but the days have become a blur, haven't they? And my baby, my custom baby, our new pretty poppet, is getting rooted. Um, this baby has uh, the... The uh, artist was telling me about all the details that this baby has. Uh, there may be some stork bites. There may be some baby acne and a scratch or two. Um, but the baby is also going to have beautiful hair that's being rooted right now. And uh, I had some pictures earlier. Um when I got to see the baby's skin color, which is kind of a peaches and cream complexion. And uh, I was very excited, but now both the artist and I decided that now that this baby is getting rooted here, um, I'm not going to see any more pictures till I do the box opening, which I don't think will be much longer if the baby is growing hair. I'm, I'm assuming it won't be much longer. And of course, the baby has to be put together and then shipped out. Um, so we're really excited here. I can't wait. I will definitely be doing a box opening for everybody. Are you seeing my beautiful Elizabeth here, Libby? Um, she's excited. She always loves when we have a new baby in the house. So we are very excited about that. And I can't wait to share this delightful baby with you. Um... I was going to talk a little bit about New Year's resolutions. I hope you're having a wonderful beginning to your year. I'm hoping for everybody good health, prosperity, and more than anything, a lot of time with our loved ones to spend time with them and to enjoy them. Um, I don't really do resolutions. I remember when our sons were younger, we used to do a, the New Year's Eve. We would do resolutions for that year. And then we would hand them over to my hubby and he would put them in his lockbox and we'd bring them out that year 
the, the following New Year's Eve and read them and write new ones. Um, we don't do that so much anymore because I found I never keep my New Year's resolutions. But I do have a few, I don't want to call them resolutions. I'm going to call them, oh, maybe something new to add to my life or maybe improve on. Uh, the first thing is, and this is going to sound funny because I'm going to do a haul, but I'm inundated with all kinds of things. So I don't want to buy too much unless I absolutely love it. And I absolutely am crazy about it. Um, then I'll buy it. If not, then maybe I'll leave it for somebody else to buy. That's one. Two... I have found, and I'm sure you've heard this before, but however you get up in the morning and decide your day is going to be, it usually turns out that way. Um, so I'm going to try to find joy every day in the little things in life. I'm going to try to focus on the beautiful things, the lovely things, the pretty things, the enjoyable things. And yes, I'm not a Pollyanna. I know that other things will come that try us, that worry us, that stress us. But I'm going to try to focus on the glass half full. And I'm going to try to focus on good and kind things. So that's my New Year's goal for me. That every day I'm going to get up and be grateful that I'm alive. Be thankful for the things that I have. And enjoy the things that I have. I'm very blessed and I feel very fortunate. And I hope the same things for you. Okay, so I told you about the baby coming. And now I'm going to show you my haul. I put them on a paper plate because I didn't know how else to do this. But on eBay, I found these absolutely cute vintage blocks. Um, they have colors on them and then little things inside. And yes, of course, they rattle. Like this one has two men in it, um, and they have rings on it. Uh, we have another one where the ball goes back and forth. These are super vintage. I'm not exactly sure of the date of them, but they're definitely old. Here's a horse that kind of goes back and forth when you rattle it. Um, I remember having these um, when I was a youngster. My... I was born to elderly parents. Um, my mother was 47 when I was born. So a lot of my, nie um, not nieces and nephews, I'm sorry. A lot of my mother's grandchildren were, you know, I was like a 10 or 11, 12 running around the house. And she had little babies that she would take care of the grandchildren. And I remember them having these beautiful vintage things. I think that's why I'm very... Um, I'm very uh, attracted to the old vintage toys. It reminds me of way back then when we had um, little ones in the house when I was a youngster myself. Another thing is my mother was a foster mother for other children. And uh, she would take in babies and toddlers and some, once in a while even an older child. So I remember having all these beautiful vintage toys around the house. And so I've been kind of doing the same thing for my nursery. Oh, that was one other goal. I'm working on it. It's probably three-fourths done. And so my next goal is to make sure that I um, get that nursery in order. I found these cute little booties. They're orange with white stripes. And on one of them, they have an elephant. On the other, they have a monkey. And they rattle when you put them on the baby's feet. And I just thought they were adorable little booties. I've been getting into hats lately. I know a lot of my dolls are rooted. I have a few babies that I have painted here. And I even have one that's bald. But most of my babies have uh, rooted hair. So I don't really keep the hats on them for any length of time. Except maybe for pictures. Uh, same with the bows, like Libby won't wear that tonight after we've taped this video. I'll take the bow out of her hair so that it doesn't pull her hair. And I also do the same thing with the hats. But I do think they look cute and the pictures are adorable. This is a baby blue hat. It has a little white, uh, little white 
I don't want to call it a tassel, but a little white thing on the top. It has tiny white hearts on it, and that would be adorable on any baby, any of my smaller babies. So I picked that out. Another baby blue and white striped with a blue band at the bottom. Another little hat. This is precious. It's knitted. Somebody spent a good time with this. And it has a beautiful pink flower with a white in middle. And it's pink and white. I just love these on the babies. Um, I love to take pictures in them. They always look so cute. I was thinking of Tank, which is Arabella Eugenia is my Tink kit by Bonnie Brown. Um, sculpted by Bonnie Brown. And the artist is uh, Chris Hyden from Tiny Heart Reborn's Nursery. But I thought of her when I saw this one. It's pink and it's kind it's not knit, but it's a warmer hat. And it has white polka dots on it and a gray band around it and then a beautiful gray bow, which I thought was just sweet as can be. So I was thinking of Tink with that one. Um, and she's going to look adorable in it. So there's that. Here's another very nice hat. It's a warmer one. Um, it is cranberry and pink and purple. It has what almost looks like braids down the side. It's one of these, but I'm sure it'll even fit Libby. It has all kinds of cute designs. There's some crosses, some stars, some, I don't know. They kind of look like robots, but I don't want to say that. I'm not sure about that. But it's really, really cute, and I think that would make some cute pictures as well. Here's a pink and white one. It says, Sweet Dreams, and it has little, I think they're, they're stars. There's black and white stars. There's also kind of like, kind of reminds me of those um, dandelions when they're ready to be blown around <laughs> uh, at the later stages. It says sweet dreams on it and there's little hearts. And then I love these knotted ones on the top. So I found that one. Then I found this one. It is gray, like a light gray with navy blue trim. It has navy blue ears. And then it has little Dalmatian dogs with red collars on it. These I think were all, hmm. It actually doesn't say three months. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say. I don't know if they got worn out or what. I found this for next year. It would fit Libby. It will also fit Brooke Caspian, who is my Suzanne kit. But it's gray, very soft gray. And it has pumpkins and it has pilgrim hats colored leaves, corn, and up here it has a turkey. I don't know if you can see all these things. For Thanksgiving, it is, they are footless pajamas. And it has like a light brown or tan uh, foot border. And then the shirt that goes with it, these are pajamas. It says, bring on the leftovers. And it has the same brown tan or light brown or tan borders on the sleeves and the collar and it has three turkeys that are running around with beautiful colored feathers so i'm gonna wash these up and put these away for thanksgiving next year i always say our babies don't grow so it's very cool when you find something like this because you can wash them up and put them away for next year same with this these did not have a top with it, but I have plenty of tops. This is like a rust colored, and it, they're little pants. And these are Carter's, three months. So these will fit, like my ward kit would fit, um, oh, I don't know, any of my baby girls. It has pumpkins, colored leaves, and also a turkey on it. And those two will be washed up and put away for Thanksgiving. Um, we have plenty of orange and cranberry shirts to put it on it. Um, I found these cute little pants. Again, I have a lot of onesies and uh, t-shirts 
This is a very light pink pair of pants. They're Carter's three months. So again, the same, my little babies, um, my ward kit. Um, her name is Primrose Lane. We have a ladybug on one knee and a beautiful flower on the other. The ladybug is navy blue outside and navy blue polka dots. Also little white dots in the pink color, darker pink. And the same colors are used for the flowers. There is navy blue, there's pink, there's yellow, and little tiny white polka dots. Just really, really cute. These are a little bit bigger. These are Old Navy, and they're 18 to 25, 24 months, 25 months, 24 months. They are a tannish color. Oops, and I'm dropping them. And they have cranberry dinosaurs. They have a pterodactyl that's peach colored with green, and they've got a brontosaurus, and they've got the stegosaurus, and they too are just bottoms with no feet. Again, I have all kinds of long sleeve onesies that that would go with. So I think those might even fit Liv Libby. And if not, they'll fit my Damie kit, Zoe, for sure. I love this. I was, again, thinking of little Primrose, who's the, uh, who is the Ariana, I'm, I'm sorry. What am I thinking? <laughs> who is the ward kit by Irina Kapolinskaya? Here's a pink top it is from the peanut shell it's zero to three months it has cute little white flowers on it a lighter pink pink trim and it came with these adorable little pants they also are like a pinkish white and they have a cute little bear for a pocket it's also a pocket here and it's got a cute little face. He has freckles and it's closing his eyes and cute little ears. Or she. I don't know which. That came together. And right away I thought of Primrose. All right. Here's another one that's Primrose size. But I do have other babies. I have my uh, Kimberly Asleep. I have my Rain Kit. All of those could wear these as well. This is by Honor Baby, again, zero to three months. It's tan. It's not a sleeper. It's actually a little romper of sorts. And I like it because it has the little gathering right here. There are teddy bears on it. There's balls of yarn. There's kitty cats as well. And it says, um, it says on it, non non, which I'm, I'm trying to figure out what that means. But some of the kitties are backwards, so you see their little tail. It's just adorable. And it has navy blue. And the, the bears and kitties are kind of a, a brownish color. And they've got green and red bows on them. Just adorable. Again, honor baby. Here's another one. Same size for Primrose. Uh, well, actually, this is a three-month, so I think it would be more for Primrose. It is light pink, and it has hot pink raspberries or some sort of berry on it that has faces. And then the little feet also have uh, a raspberry on it. So cute. I can't wait to put that on her. She'll look adorable. Just a few more things now, and then I'll be done. I mainly wanted to get on just to wish you a very happy 2022 way this year went by fast, and I'm sure some people are very grateful for that. But um, anyways, these are for my Damie kit. Oh no, I'm sorry, these are for Libby. I'm sorry, these are for Libby. They are pink and they have orange little cute foxes on it with a owl that's pink with navy blue wings and it has the pants. I love this little pink bow here and the lace. It's really cute. You find a lot of fox things on boys' clothes, but these are uh, Carter's. They're a 3T, but again, I don't like to put her... She has very large arms, and her legs are even bigger, so I don't really like to put her in tight things that impedes the leg or rubs up against it. So those will fit her. Now, these are for Miss Zoe, who's the Damie kit. This is a 12-month pajama outfit, and it has the cutest little polar bears on it 
with crowns on their head. Again, the cute little pink bow. These are Carter's and they're 12 months. So I'm pretty sure those will fit Zoe. Sometimes when they've been washed a few times, I also can put my Saskia in it, uh, Posy Meadows. And then this is adorable. Again, 12 months. So I'm thinking Zoe because this is really on the big side. Uh, it is so cute. It's like a cream color or maybe white. Inside, it's got that fuzzy material, so it's nice and warm. And on the outside, you have a purple fairy with a, a flower in its hand. And you have some pink and some teal fairies. Just adorable. It is also a Carter's. So, not a big haul, just a little haul. And like I said, I mainly got on so that I could wish you a wonderful 2022 and ask you how your holiday went. Please don't forget, I love to read the comments. Um, I enjoy seeing your babies and comments about your babies. Um, I don't think I mentioned, I, I know I have in past ones, she is the Ariana kit, but I do not know who her artist is. But whoever it is, did such a beautiful job. She's a beautiful girl. She has a lot of details. I especially love those rosy cheeks. And them little lips just kill me. That look kind of like a pouty lip. But then not really. Uh, I just love her to pieces. Well, everybody, I'm going to say good night. Good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you are. It's almost Friday. Nope, I take that back. It is now early Friday morning because it's after midnight. So it's Friday. I hope you have a wonderful weekend filled with only good things. If you're at work like my son tonight, make sure you come home safely to those that love you. And if you're at home throughout the day tomorrow and throughout the day today, I hope you took time to put your feet up, pamper yourself, and eat chocolate. Aunties, uncles, cousins, loved ones, and friends. We love you with all our hearts over here at Pretty Poppets. We enjoy spending some time with you, and we thank you for spent, uh, watching our videos and spending some time with us. And we send you love. Mwah. Mwah. Whoops, we dropped our bunny. God bless, and have a wonderful, wonderful evening.